Good afternoon, everyone. This is Originette Cooper Bryant. Oh my god, I am doing a video in my red. Okay, yes, this is me in my red robe <laughs> and my leopard print. I don't be very casual with you guys, however, let's talk. All jokes aside, I wanted to come on the MMIS income shifting group because. This group is about empowering, esteeming, and encouraging, motivating each other. The reason why we put this platform together is because I might have some helpful tools and tips that I want to share with you. And I thought, hey, let me do it in my own private uh, group on Facebook. So funny because today, um, my daughter... <laughs> She basically had some things to say about the social media and Facebook and what we're doing on Facebook. And here's what she said to me. And I was like, oh, wow. She said, Mom, Facebook is outdated and you need to go to TikTok. I was like, TikTok? I haven't done TikTok yet. But anyways, I was like, well, you know, Facebook is my friends, you know. And I thought to myself, you know, what better place to start? by motivating and encouraging is your friends in your own your own neighborhood well <laughs> I don't know I I do this because I want to encourage and motivate my friends to be their very best and to do their very best and to succeed in everything that they do now I know that for this platform I have about 21 of you that is uh, partnered with me on this group and I just want to say to you, thank you so much for participating. Now, as you participate, I want to make sure that I make it worth your time. And I will not be on this video chat live very long. But the 21 principles that I posted from last week that some of you guys missed was, number one, you must dream big. If you don't do anything, at the end of the day, in your red robe at nighttime when you get ready to go to sleep you must dream big so it's kind of good to put position yourself into a good visualization before you go to sleep and to think big not only think big i make it my effort if you only spend 30 minutes and it takes longer than 30 minutes trust me to get a pen and paper and write down a couple of things that you need to do to focus on your day and your journey and where you're going now, a lot of times people are so good at what they do, they write nothing down. I'm not that kind of person. I write it down, I implement it, I make myself accountable, and I, I go with what that dream is. So if I see a dream, if I have a dream or a vision, I need to know where that vision is going to take me and what it takes to be able to implement that vision, number one. Number two, make a clear sense of or develop a clear sense of directions okay so like I said if we're all over the place it's gonna make it difficult because you don't know if you're actually meeting those goals that you have set up for yourself now for me in this group I said that I would definitely be uh, doing these videos every two weeks okay now during this video time is to help support you and to motivate you and encourage you as well uh, I'm doing it every two weeks because of my schedule and just content creations that I'm putting together and how we can as people to as a group holistically help motivate and encourage each other okay see yourself as self-employed oh my gosh let me pause there how can I work for myself and make the money hey Evelyn I know you're just on a, a conference call in fact I got a I have joined the clubhouse. I've gotten a private invite to the clubhouse, so I'm going live on the clubhouse tonight. It's funny how we say these things because now we're on the social media and the social media, we're able to um, communicate through the social media. And I love my friends, okay? Facebook, I still, like I said, I love my friends. I like to be encouraged. I like to know what's going on with my friends and even if you don't ever talk to me on the phone i still leave, i still want to know what it is that i can do to help support you and encourage you sometimes friends will i am me and say hey look i just need a word of prayer or i need some motivation and encouragement i'm available 
I'm available. So anyways, um, yeah, see yourself as self-employed. Self-employed is very difficult because you don't make the money that you make when you're working for somebody else. Not at first you don't, but eventually the money does come in. But you have to set up a clear plan and have a clear, um, concise idea of where you're going, where you're going to take it. Nevlin, yes, I'm on here live tonight because I did tell you it's every other week. However, uh, like Mr. Spencer said on the call tonight, we have to be consistent in everything you do. And when you called me earlier today, I decided that I was going to be consistent and I was going to get on the um on the uh, Facebook Live on our MMIS Income Shifting Group. Now, number four, do what you love. Okay, let's stop right there because it's so funny because a lot of you all tell me I don't like numbers, I don't like making money, I don't like doing accounting, I don't like seeing where my money going or having a good plan. What is it with us? We don't like this. We don't like that. Oh, it, you, Evelyn, we don't like money, right? <laughs> Somebody give you 20 bucks, what you going to do with it? Oh, I'm going to spend it. See, we have a very uh, limited way of thinking of you make the money, you spend the money. Well, why don't you make the money and grow the money? And why don't you become financially savvy of what $20 can really do? And I have actually joined some groups here on Facebook that actually teach you how to cook coupons how to save money on this and that and how to keep you up uh up to speed of what's going on in the stock market there's so many things on facebook you just need to join these groups and if you're not joining these groups then that tells me that you're not interested in growing and you're not interested in going outside of your network i don't believe in that i think you need to join different groups and start communicating with different people and start uh learning and educating yourself because guess what we learn and we grow from each other okay so i shared uh, four tips of successful secrets and i'm going to continue i need you to actually start to learn how the business begins and learn all the details from the beginning to the end about the business now evelyn and i are both part of my econ my econ we know that it's been in business for 16 years we know who the owners are we speak to the owners and if I call the owner right now of the company, he will answer the phone, okay? And we know that over a million plus dollars has been generated outside, inside the company. And we have seen millionaires come out of the company because they've grown a successful team. Team of 10, 10 times 10, 10 times 10, it's just multiplications. So, you know, when you think about multiplication, you add, 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 or you multiply, you multiply, you multiply. I, I think in terms of multiplication versus addition. But anyways, addition adds up to multiplication if you do it properly. So you just have to plan it out. Okay, if I get three people in, if those three people will get three people in, if these people, you've got to start thinking. I know that pyramid concept is something you're like, I don't want to do that. But really, honestly, and truly, when you work for somebody, you're already doing that because the top of the food chain making millions of dollars off of you and the company if they're in the right company and the mindset. Here's something very, very important. You have to serve others. Now, what do I mean by that? If I'm a selfish person <laughs> and I don't serve anyone around me and I'm only circle, central focused on myself, then I'm not going to be of any value to you or to the team. All I'm doing is thinking about me, me, me. And you cannot develop people or grow as a team if you're thinking me, me, me. So I suggest grow a team that is about us. And what can our team do? How can we achieve our goals? We need to focus on goal setting for each other and for that team and how we can develop a better platform of what we're doing. Now, there are systems that are in place that require um, what I call uh, to get with the market, to do a network market analysis and to get with the market and to understand what the competitive edge is. Boy, that's a tough one because I'm always, every day, I'm thinking about what is my competitive edge. Well, as a nurse practitioner, my competitive edge is the fact that I work for the hospital. Not only do I work for the hospital, 
I work in my own business as an IV hydrationist. Now, I want to be, I want to go back to that. That is very specific because as a medical person who works in acute settings and in a uh, regular family practice, very important that I focus on disease processes and prevention. And when I bring in the nutritional value into that, then I'm looking at how can I make you feel better? You know, your mom and your uh, grandma used to say, if you eat right, your body will re respond to it. If you're taking the proper diet and nutrition, then you'll do okay. If you starve yourself, then you're going to be sick. Well, she was right because of pyramid. There's a pyramid approach again. That pyramid tells you what you should eat. This one has 10 jobs. <laughs> I have 10 jobs. So at the pyramid, you got to think about what's important for you to eat. What's the best value in, in that that you're going to eat? Is it the protein? Is it the calcium? Is it the vitamin C? Is it the dairy products? Okay. And at the bottom, you know, you want to make sure you reduce and eliminate some of that sugary stuff because that's not going to help your body. Hey, oh my God. Hey, girl, you joined me today. <laughs> I hope you're doing good. I hope you're doing good. I missed you today at the office. I did go. Um, in fact, my car's still there at the uh, office. But anyways, um, here's another thing. Be honest and transparent. Okay, this is a problem most business people have. They don't want to be honest with you. Well, it's funny. I lose money. I lose money because I am honest. Um, I tell people who come in for a consultation to the IV uh, clinic that I'm not going to do the infusion. And they're like, why? I was like, well, I'm not going to do it because, number one, you have goals that I may not be able to help you reach and that is you got to lose weight you got to start thinking about your heart you got to think about autoimmune disorders and there's some autoimmune disorders that i do hydration for and there's some that i have to cut some of the formula to a different balance because i don't want to get any adverse reactions as a matter of fact i told my son who's going through his own autoimmune disorders right now that i just found out Ooh, i just put that on facebook anyways um I told him, I was like, I'd like you to come in for the NAD uh, infusion because I, I want to see his body start to recover, regenerate good, healthy uh, cells. And um, his DNA has been attacked uh, by uh, autoimmune. And I want to see if I can pull some of the good, healthy uh, vitamins that our body doesn't naturally get from our food source. So I'm going to try to see what I can do to help support him on that. Okay, another thing is plan and set goals. Okay, if you don't plan and set goals, where are you going? What are you doing? You know, if you're just going day by day, running here and there and everywhere, meeting everybody else's goals, what are you doing for yourself? You have to start to think and focus on setting your own personal goals and developing what is good for you. You need to have a good balance just like you give balance to everyone else. Because if we don't have a good balance, what will happen to us? At the end of the day, we have nothing left, okay? All right, so those are a few tips. I'm not going to stay on this too long. I, I just wanted to give a little good night and say hello. Thank you for joining me. And um, I look, at, look forward to you all coming and joining me on February the 7th from 11 to 2 o'clock. And that's going to be at 2561 Moody. Uh, Boulevard Suite C and that is East Moody. That's right before you get to the um, uh, Flagler Beach <laughs> Before you get to the beach side the, the bridge. So um, we're right there in front of uh, the Badcock building the big gray building So please come to Nirvana Wellness Center and I want to just say a shout out to Kat um, She focuses on sports medicine pain management and her whole team in this um, office is so focused on making you feel the best you've ever felt and she has something for you she's going to give you the best massage she's going to give you some tips on what you can do day to day we also have some weight reduction um, programs in there and uh, we have chiropractor we have myself which is a nurse practitioner and so much more but our whole focus is to make you feel the best that you can ever feel and help you get rid of some of those pain receptors that people go through with the aging process or even with sports you know we go through pain through oh i'm lifting weights i'm doing this and doing it you need a uh, recovery solution 
and I believe we do have a recovery solution for you. So you all have a wonderful, fantastic night. Love you all, and have a blessed day, okay? Bye-bye.